Okay, so if you're looking at a home automation hub, so how does the Hubitat compare to the Homey Pro if your internet goes out? So I'll begin by testing a couple of different devices and then I'm going to kill the internet and we'll see how they fare across the two hubs. So the first one that I'm going to test is a Wi-Fi device that is uh, a CASA light strip that's on the back of my TV in the back here. So I'll begin by testing it on the Homey Pro and we'll just make sure that that is working. And you can kind of see it light up in the background over there. And I'll turn it back off. And you can see it's back out. Flip over to the Habitat. And the same thing there goes on right away. And back off. So both are working with the Wi-Fi connected. No surprise, they are Wi-Fi devices. All right, so now that we've tested it with it on, let's go ahead and uh, turf the internet. I'm just going to go to my breaker box here and pull out the blue wire. This is the uh, LAN connection that goes to my router that routes everything throughout the house. And I'm going to go plug that thing out. Okay, so the internet is no longer working and we can test that quickly by just clicking on any link and we can see we have an internet problem. So we know that the internet is in fact off and let's just Try that same thing again. Click on that TV accent light and it's working on the Hubitat. Turn it back off and we'll try the Homey Pro. And we can very quickly see that is a network request failed because nothing is coming on on my TV on the Homey Pro for the Wi-Fi device. So that is not working on here. So it's clearly doing something to talk to the cloud or do something to communicate with that. So there's definitely a point over here, back to the Habitat and that's working. Point goes to the Habitat on this one. Now, what about the other devices? What about uh, Zigbee, Z-Wave, that kind of thing? Well, let's find out, uh, let's try another uh, Wi-Fi device. This is probably also a connect and I get a network request failed on that. That's also a Wi-Fi device. So it also looks like it's connecting to the cloud. Now that being said, this device here, I cannot connect to at all on the Hubitat. So um, don't write it off just yet. Let's go ahead and test a Zigbee device. One that I have that'll work right away is the home theater setup that should still uh, connect the device on the back. I'm also getting a network device failed on this one. I'm wondering if it's going to change anything on the phone app because it is on the same network. Let's find out. So the phone app is working. I clicked on the Zigbee and everything is working normally there. Let's try the accent lights on the app then as well. And you can tell there's the error message. So it's not connecting to the Wi-Fi device, but no problem working with the Zigbee as long as I'm connecting from my phone. And this is connected also to the same network not connected to the internet, but it's on the same Wi-Fi. So that still works, does not work through the PC. So there's something connecting, looks like to the cloud, whereas this looks like it's connecting directly to the Homey Pro Hub. So it works that way. Now, what about the uh, Zigbee devices on the Hubitat? Well, that's an easy check here. I'll find something that we can uh, see kind of while we're clicking here, and that'll be the aquarium lights off to the back side there. So if I turn the aquarium lights off and back on, you can see that that works and that's inside of Hubitat. So those work exactly the same way. Nothing has changed there on this, which means it should also work on the app and I can test it there as well. Waiting. Now, interesting, this one here, I can't connect to the app here. <laughs> so this must be a little bit of just what the manufacturers do. The Homey Pro, this connected directly to the hub and that still works and that's operational. 
but not on the PC. Whereas Hubitat, I can connect through the PC because it's on the same network and not through the phone because it must go to the cloud then first and then back to the device or to the hub. So that's a little interesting. Uh, let's try a Z-Wave device. I do have one on here and let's see if that works. That is the lock. And it reports back too, so that's good. The Z-Wave works as well through the app. Now, Z-Wave devices. Um, I do have one here, I think, somewhere. There it is. So I can just click on flash and you can probably see the background there. There's the reflection, it's down the hallway. But that is clearly working as well for the Z-Wave on the Hubitat. So to me, it kind of looks like if the if the objective is local only, and that's what you want to have working, then the Hubitat looks like it's going to be the clear winner on that. All right, so the Wi-Fi is back on. Now the question is, how is that going to end up working? Now that the Wi-Fi is back on, is everything going to just connect itself back up and it's going to work? So I just plugged it back in. I'm not doing any resets, not nothing. Just re-enable the Wi-Fi. I'll give it a minute or so to boot up, reconnect with the uh, server, and we'll try out and just make sure that everything is restored the way that it should be. All right, so we'll make sure that the internet is back up and running and we can see it is. YouTube pulls up right away, so that's good. Let's go ahead and try a device. We'll go ahead and try the accent lights on the TV in the back so we can see them. And we can see they come right back on. So the thing that wasn't working on Hubitat was the app. So let's make sure that that's re-enabled itself. And it does require me to log in. Registering the mobile device. And all my dashboard and everything comes back right back up. So everything came back up as soon as the internet was restored. So that's good. The recovery is working. A user asked for this video, so you can do with that information whatever you need to to make sure that you choose the best hub that works for you in your situation. It looks like if you want everything to run locally, your option is going to be Hubitat. And if you don't mind going through the cloud, Homey Pro is the way to go there.